Structural racism is a way of describing the ways that ideas about race, and in particular ideas about white supremacy, um, shape the structures that are part of our lives. So one way to think about that, and I think the clearest way to think about that, is to think about institutions or institutional racism. So there are lots of, um, lots of institutions that we're a part of all the time. Universities, schools, prisons, governments um, that are part of our everyday lives and that might seem on their face like they're just kind of neutral. But when you use the sort of lens of thinking about race and racism, you might see how those institutions um, produce or recreate or perpetuate or continue practices of race and racism. So in a contemporary moment, um, we might see institutional or structural racism in, say, an admissions process in a, in a, in a school or a university or a job market, maybe. Um, in our contemporary moment, the kind of hip thing that people like to do is to say, we're being colorblind. We're not going to pay attention to race. So that means if a black candidate and a white candidate both come and they apply for this job or they apply for this position in the school, then we are just going to close our eyes and pretend that we can't see race and then it will be fair. But because of all of these histories and legacies and memories of race and racism that are really deep inside all of our brains and really deep inside the, the ways that our institutions are structured, they're all gonna see race anyway. The people who are reading the application are gonna see race, but also the, the kind of structures that the applicants have been through their whole lives have shaped them in racialized ways. So maybe someone went to a really good public school and someone went to a not very good public school. Maybe someone had a lot of uh, resources for after school programs and another person you know, didn't have those resources. So all of these kinds of structures have shaped their lives in ways that have to do with race before they even get to the admissions process. So then to kind of close our eyes and say, let's pretend race isn't here, actually enacts unfairness and perpetuates the racism. So I would say that's kind of how structural racism works today. 